a lot of people have sown brassica crops this year um, as a means of providing additional fodder for the, for the winter ahead. Um, a lot of crops are starting to be grazed at this stage. There's a few things that people just need to bear in mind and that is that brassica crops are deficient in iodine in particular but they're also deficient in, in copper, selenium and cobalt but iodine is, is primarily the main mineral that's, that's deficient. So it's very very important to have, uh, have iodine supplemented well and to feed a good mineral vitamin supplement along with the crop. Um, the key thing with brassicas is, is, is gradual introduction and not to exceed 50% of the total, uh, total diet. Uh, a lot of people historically would have fed it at 25% of the total diet which is a very very safe level. So somewhere in that sort of ballpark 25 to 50% overall. Um, what's also important is that the feed source of digestible fibre with it. You know it is, a, it, is a, it is a low dry matter, high protein, highly fermentable crop that's low in fibre. So animals need a source of long fibre. So that's hay, bale silage, straw, something to keep them chewing the cud, something to keep the rumen in, in balance overall. You know. Um, so there's a few things to watch out for. Um, animals that go onto the crop need to be healthy. They need to be in decent body condition. They need to be ruminating. Um, ideally, it's animals within the sort of range of, of six months to six years. Um, older animals, it can they, they, they prefer a more or a less stressful uh, system um, where there's more comfort involved. Um, always provide a, a dry lieback area. Um, always provide a source of water. Now animals may not drink a whole lot of water because the crop is a, is, is a, is a moist crop, it's a low dry matter crop and uh, it's an outdoor crop so there will be some rain involved in it as well. Um, as regards in-calf cows and in-calf heifers, uh, remove them four weeks before calving. Get them back onto a, a more a more a more grass silage based system. Get them back to a diet that will res resemble their after calving diet overall. Um, so the key things are: watch iodine. Uh, make sure you're well supplemented with minerals and vitamins. Provide a good dry lieback area. Uh, provide a source of long fibre. Uh, if animals start to lose body condition, well then some concentrate will be required. Um, weanlings might require one to two kilograms of concentrate depending on conditions and depending on, on how developed they are. Uh, remove in-calf animals at least four weeks before calving and get them back on a, on a more stable uh, indoor diet overall. Um, as regards later in the year, don't graze frosted crops. Frosted crops need to thaw before they're grazed. Um, uh, flowered crops should not be grazed either. Um, as regards, uh, as regards utilisation, people would normally graze them daily, so just allocate a, a specific amount daily. So in other words, uh, 50 weanlings will get about uh, two weeks out of an acre when it's fed at 25% of the diet. Uh, 100 dry cows will get around um, four to five days when it's fed at 20% of, of the dry matter. Um, bloat can be a factor with, with crops as well, uh, particularly if, if animals are fed an excessive amount or introduced to it too quickly. Animals need to ruminate, they need to chew the cud and, and get rid of that gas and that's where the, uh, the long fibre comes in at that point. So if you have any queries, contact your local Glombia representative or alternatively uh, log on to glombiaconnect.com. Come.